Well, after a long weather delay this morning, the PLL has concluded week number nine of the regular season. And thus, we need to talk lacrosse. It's, it's about that time again. You know, let's talk a little lacrosse. Um, the MSL semifinals are going on. Game four of Six Nations, Coburg and Peterborough, Brooklyn. Um, they'll be they'll be both tonight and Tuesday, respectively. Both these teams are probably going to the MSL finals. Let's let's just be real. Um, the WLA the semis begin on August the sixth. Victoria, who is undefeated, will take on New Westminster, and Maple Ridge will take on Langley. Um, in the OJLL finals, Orangeville is currently leading Mimico two games to none. In the BC finals. Of course, both teams get to go. Coquitlam hosts the midfield this year, so but the Adnex lead Poco two to nothing in their best of seven series. The R in the Rocky Mountain Cross League, Calgary is leading Edmonton two games to one in their seven game series. Now the NLL, their free agency has been delayed with Panther City on the verge of either being relocated or they're folding one or the other but it looks like the team you know in panther city is like yeah it's just not working out that at least that's what has been you know kind of stated now the team could move from anywhere i've heard you know i've heard you know allen texas which is not ideal for me because who wants to go to allen texas for a game yeah, I mean, come on. But, you know, Montreal's been thrown around. Other places have been thrown around. Again, the team could just fold. But, um, again, this is similar to um, New York's time, you know, the Riptide's time in Long Island. It just did not work out. The fans were not coming to games. When I went, there were definitely, you know, when I went to that San Diego game back in, I want to say it was February or March, it was one of those days. Uh, when I went to that game, it was definitely less than a thousand people there. Like this, just like they had a very high, you know, five thousand fans. Like their first game, Panther City did. But every ever since then, the marketing has not been there. The you know, of course, you know, the team was on you know Bali Sports, you know, which you know, as we all know, Bali Sports is you know kind of dead you know as far as local deals go so you know that that wasn't gonna work out you know you know that that wasn't gonna work out in the long term and then you know the lack of the lack of interest you know the name of the team yeah definitely plays into it but just the lack of interest in Fort Worth in general you know there's a reason why there really isn't pro sports out in Fort Worth like that there's a reason there's a reason why all the teams are in Dallas they're in Dallas, not not Fort Worth. They're they're, not, they're all here, not over there in Fort Worth. You know, Fort Worth is kind of cumbersome to get around. You know, because especially it's like it's a lot of areas over there that is just like completely unknown. Like you know, when you come to Dallas, you come when you come in down to Dallas. You know, first goes a tourist trap. Of course, we all people from here. Or at least people that know this channel know that I think Frisco is a tourist trap. Like Plano, Plano's a thing, Richardson's a thing, Allen's a thing because of that big old high school stadium and everything like that. Like, you know, all the Dallas suburbs and everything like that. All that makes sense. Everybody knows, you know, what that stuff is. But like Fort Worth, does anybody really care? <laughs> does anybody really care? Not particularly. So, in any case, I think. I think what should happen is Panther City moves to like Montreal, you know, you know, because of the way the Montreal game went for the NLL last year, or really, or rather this past season. You know, I really think that would be better, but the team could just fold or again move, you know, you know, somewhere else in Texas. You know, these are the same guys that own the Dallas Wings and um, I think like an Oklahoma City hockey team, like a minor league hockey team or something like that. 
So I, I don't know, man. I don't know how I feel about it. Uh, again, I, I am personally, personally, I'm feeling like this was kind of inevitable. Same thing, you know, that happened to New York going to Ottawa. And they have nice jerseys that got revealed, by the way, a couple of days ago. I, I, I honestly, you know, I'm glad I got to go to a box lacrosse game. I'm so happy I did. I'm so happy I did that this year. If I were never, if, if Dallas never gets another team again, you know, I'd be pretty disappointed. But it happens. It happens in, in the lacrosse world. You know, Dallas just, you know, has lost team after team. You know, PLL didn't come here this past year. You know, they're not coming. Maybe next year, I hope, so I can get and see, you know, the field lacrosse, you know, boys play field lacrosse, you know. But, yeah. PLL right now, again, we have just a couple weeks left in the regular season. And, again, um, basically the Eastern Conference playoffs are clinched. They're, they're, they are clinched. They're locked in. California is 2-6. and six. Again, Philadelphia got eliminated due to not only them losing in one of the worst efforts I've ever seen from a very talented team. Like this is like the Atlas teams of a couple years, the past couple years, like just just ugh. The they were down eleven to nothing with six and a half minutes left in the third quarter. Do you know how terrible that is? To go 30 minutes in a game without scoring. You know how terrible it is. You know, how, you know how talented that that the team is with Hannah, with 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 Michael Sowers, Matt DeLuca. You know, is struggling in cage. You know, because the offense can't do anything. So it's crazy. New York, Boston, and Maryland should clinch. Maryland, I believe Maryland has clinched the playoff spot at this point. You know, because by virtue of Philadelphia being eliminated. They clinch a playoff spot probably again. Top six teams go. And so, I mean, really, you know, there's really no point in talking about the PLL playoff race because we all know that, you know, I guess for the purposes of seeding, that's about it. You know, with the New York, Boston, Tampa, and then, you know, Utah, Denver, Carolina on the other side, you know, of the bracket. But, I mean, there's still time or the California Redwoods to catch up again. Some teams like Maryland only have one game left over the next couple weeks. Like Maryland gets that last week off. Others, you know, have two or more. And it's going to be interesting to see how Brennan O'Neill and that Outlaws team, you know, continues to do how, you know, can Rob Pinnell and the, Car- and the California Redwoods, you know, kind of dig themselves out this hole because they got blown out today here. Rather, they got blown out yesterday before that game got, you know, delayed and it happened to be canceled due to lightning. It was 18 to 5. Just disgusting, you know, type game. I mean, and then, of course, New York, really good. Boston, really good. You know, I mean, what can you say? When you have, when, for New York, when you have the points leader, Jeff T, Connor Schellenberger, um, you know, Dixon, I mean, just, just, just boot to Brad, boot to ass, you know, Trevor Baptiste, of course. I mean, and Boston's really good too, you know. Again, the PLL this year, you know, there's been some pretty good games. There's been some pretty good games that I've seen. It's pretty, some pretty good games. There's been some ugly ones, you know, like the last couple, you know, that I've seen on television that, you know, have been bad. Of course, again, the delay today, you know, caused the – Caused the most a- ABC affiliates to see Big Boy Blaze Reardon get that get that you know coast to coast goal all over again. So yeah, my thoughts on the PLL right now are kind of like you know everything's going pretty good, pretty good. I'm, I'm liking you know I'm liking the cross being played. Um, if you've seen my post on. This morning, you know, on YouTube or on t- Twitter this morning, you will probably know that I am stepping, you know, I'm intending on decreasing, you know, stuff that I talk about when it comes to lacrosse. You know, I just, um, and I've stated my reasons for it already. Um, 
unfortunately, you know, the Man Cup race, you know, has been very, very boring. You know, it's just not fun to talk about. Like again, this is just inevitable at this point. We will get a we will get a Six Nations Peterborough final, and then more than likely it will be Victoria on the other side for the Man Cup. Which I mean, that's nice and everything like that. But I'm hoping that the, that that gets. Li- I'm hoping that the games get live streamed on YouTube this year. That's what I really want. Like I would watch the Man Cup if the games were live streamed on YouTube or you know somewhere where people can see it. If it was like you know, like Ontario Lacrosse, you know, got you know TSN on and said, "Hey TSN, can we get our games on your network and everything like that?" Or even TSN Plus or ESPN Plus or something like that. So it's just like. Eh. Yeah, so I was kind of bored with that. I'm kind of bored with the man cup race because it's just boring, you know. It's, you know, it's really, really boring, really boring race. You know, I get it. All the all, all the NLL guys that aren't in the PLL are here in the MSL or the WLA, you know. And you know, Victoria going undefeated, which is crazy. You know, you don't really see that too much in lacrosse overall. Not not just not just talking about you know senior A Canadian lacrosse. I'm talking about lacrosse in general. You just don't see that a lot. Like I'm kind of I'm kind of just uh, you know Langley got in an eight nine and one, you know because there's still ties in lacrosse for some reason. And then the mental cup race has been an absolute disaster, you know, PR wise, you know, because the Rocky, let's face it, the Rocky Mountain, you know, really, this, or the Calgary Edmonton matchup really should have been, you know, the matchup all along, you know, but they had to do, you know, a first round first, the other two teams. And it's like, why? And then, you know, the BC Junior A, you know, that, that's been, Interesting, you know, but again, two teams go, two teams from BC go because, you know, there has to be a host city that hosts, you know, one of the host teams gets the play in the Mitchell Cup. So that's kind of stupid to me, you know, that you would think, you would think that, you know, hey, three champions, we have three champions of three different leagues. And so, you know, we can do like a, we could do like a, um, I don't know, like a round round or something like that that could determine a champion or, you know, I don't know, man. I don't know. I, I'm just making up scenarios, but they have to have a fourth team in there to make it kind of, you know, make the round robin play before the actual Mento Cup final a little, I guess, a little bit more interesting, but I'm just not vibing with it anymore. Um, and the OJLL has just been controversy after controversy this year, just unprofessional nonsense. You know, and I get it. It's junior A, and these guys really aren't paid. You know, technically, and it's just, it's just, and it's been hard to follow. Like Rocky Mountain, can you find the, can you find the league on YouTube at all? No, not really. The LJLL, can every game be streamed on YouTube? No. What about BC? Am I really interested in watching BC? I, you know, I've just been there's just been a lack of interest for me in general. Talking about the Canadian leagues, you know, I've just been very disinterested because not only have the races for the man and the Mento been kind of mid, but the way the way the play has been has just not been up to par for me. It's just it's just genuinely this interesting and i get the benefits of it you know you have joey spelina you know up in orangeville probably going to win you know an ojl chip and go to the mental cup and play for a mental cup but am i invested anymore not really i'm far more invested in whatever the hell the nll is doing to solve the panther city situation i'm far more invested and laughing at the Philadelphia Water Dogs for missing the playoffs. That's what you get for going to Philadelphia. That's what you that's what the PLO gets for putting the team in Philadelphia. Putting the team that I was a fan of in Philadelphia. No, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. But yeah, though. I, I'm, I don't even know what to say at this point. 
because it, it's it's been a weird year. I'm, I, I thought I would be way more just watching way more lacrosse, you know, but it's like there's just too much on my plate here when it comes to talking about the sport. It's just too much on my plate, and I, I just don't feel. I feel like this. I feel like the senior and junior A Canadian box is. It's supposed to be good, but there's still stuff holding it back, you know, from making it, you know, as good as the NLL is for me. You know, there's still stuff holding it back, you know, with the all sorts of organizational differences and nonsense like that. You know, the whole beaches situation for pretty much a good chunk of the season. Just how? And I get it, the beaches got promptly. You know, beaten because they were really a regular season team. But at this point, I'm just I'm just kind of over it. You know, it's been hard to watch BMSL when they do put the games on YouTube. They, when they do try and live stream it, they'll have the Rogers TV broadcast. You know, right after the game, which is kind of inconvenient because you know it's a game that already happened. I don't want to watch it again. Yeah. Or rather, I don't want to watch it now because it's a game that already happened. You know, I don't want to watch a game that's just been put up for the sake of being put up, you know. And it was a live stream. So, and the WLA, you know, still has paywall. So, yeah. So that's kind of that's kind of how I'm feeling. We're just going to talk about NLL, PLL, college, and world. You know, at least feel and box for the world, not doing sixes, of course, not talking about Olympic sixes either, not talking about that nonsense. Don't really want to talk about the PLL Championship Series, but I'll have to mention it at some point. You know, I'll have to mention it. So for me to you, that's going to do it. Um, I know a lot of people have been watching that interview I did with Arena Football Nation yesterday, and I got to tell you, why aren't you subscribing? You're watching, but you're not subscribing. That's very, very telling. So you're a lacrosse fan and you want to sound off the comments and tell me how wrong I am probably about, you know, the way I'm talking about a man in the mint. So just sound off for me. I don't really care. I don't really care if you sound off on me. Um, maybe try and rope me back in, you know. But for me to you, that'll do it. And I'll see you all on Tuesday morning to talk about this weekend in the football because we got a doozy of uh, things to talk about. So take care. See you soon.